meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it's only Wednesday, but we've already been talking about what a beautiful weekend we have on the way. Lots of sunshine with temperatures up slightly warmer than normal Saturday and even up a bit more on Sunday and it looks not only dry during the day but comfortable at night. Same can be said for the next 36 hours. We're going to get a period of unsettled weather in here and along with that some gusty winds and some higher humidity. East Providence you can see the wind shaking in our cameras this morning and along in south of Providence we've had a few sprinkles and lighter showers that have been approaching and we're going to keep an eye on this for the next say, two hours. That's when these will be passing to the east and we'll be seeing a couple of raindrops in some spots. It's nothing significant, but uh, cloudy skies for now. 69 in Boston, where we've seen some sunshine. Upper 60s in Providence. Taunton going to see a period of extra clouds here to finish out the morning. 64 in Richmond, about 65. A couple of sprinkles in Narragansett. The dew points are on the rise. Anytime you get close to 60, that's when you start to notice the stickiness in the air. So we're already there in Westerly, and by the end of the day, dew points in Providence will be up to around 60 degrees or higher. So dew points today will make the air feel sticky, downright muggy tonight and into Thursday, and then those dew points start to drop again for Friday and the weekend. Looking at our satellite and radar, we got low pressure to the west of us over the Great Lakes and a warm front sitting to the north. So it's along that front that we've had the clouds and scattered showers. For us, most of the activity is going to be developing overnight tonight. So we get through those light showers this morning and at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, intervals of clouds and sunshine expected. It's cloudy to start this evening, but most of these will hold off until after 9 or 10 o'clock at night. And then we are looking at some unsettled weather during the night, showers and an embedded thunderstorm possible by seven o'clock tomorrow morning. This is moving out. Now there's a lot of kind of tropical air to work with, so it'll make us prone to downpours. There could be a few locations that top an inch of rainfall tonight. Not everyone's going to see that, but the risk is there. Now here's the front 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. This cool front is going to act as a focus for a few additional showers to pop up during at least the first half of the day on Thursday. So we'll keep a shower or thunderstorm in the forecast Thursday before the skies clear out for the evening and nighttime hours. Let's talk temperatures for today. It's up compared to the last few, especially away from the coastline. At the shore with winds off the water, you're pretty similar to the last few days, between 65 and 70 degrees. Inland spots, though, upper 70s to near 80, depending on how much sunshine we can get through this afternoon. Mid to upper 70s in Seekonk, Taunton, New Bedford, into the 70s this afternoon as well. Breezy with that shower at the beach this morning. Air temperatures around 69 degrees. For the evening hours, keep an eye to the sky. Most of this should start after the games, whether it's high school or youth um, games that are going on on fields this evening will be wrapping up, but it'll stay warm and humid tonight. Overnight lows only dropping into the mid to upper 60s. So showers, thunderstorms, some of them heavy. Seven day forecast and keep an eye to the sky again for Thursday during the daytime with that shower thunderstorm threat mid 70s for highs. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all beautiful weather and we'll hold on to dry weather. It looks like through at least Monday. Get that updated for